Kagino awakens into a new world. Taken aback, he has forgotten his past and where he came from along with his identity. Running up a hill to take in the view of his surroundings, he encounters guards of Trone. In a swift, he takes them out with ease until he is violently introduced to Misami, knocking him out and capturing him. Upon awakening in a cell, he is introduced to the village leader and finds a strange amulet that fell into this world with him. The following morning, a tour around the village becomes an intense situation as the elusive Draken has taken villagers hostage. Blinded by his arrogance, he fails to account for the return of Franz, the village blacksmith who quickly drives him away. Kagano is introduced to Franz before learning of a powerful mage, Oriana, who is the only one capable of giving Kagano the answers he needs. At least, that's what the group believes. They need to find her, and fast. As days go by, Kagano begins to dream and sees visions of locations and events occurring around him, pushing him further to want to explore more of this newfound world. After receiving his first weapon forged by Franz, using the metal of the crash site, he sets out on a journey to find Oriana alongside Masami, Franz and Magnus, a young female adventurer. As our heroes venture into the land, they head towards a small market village in search of information on Oriana's whereabouts. They suddenly encounter one of Draken's henchmen causing a ruckus in the village. Kagano proves himself in combat and wins his first duel. They take the opportunity to escape, finding themselves in a torn down village. Kagano, along with his team, sweep the crumbling remains hoping to come across any survivors. They suddenly find a mysterious unconscious girl, which Kagano recognises from an uncertain past. The group disperses in search for the more survivors awaiting the waking of the white-haired girl. Kagano returns to the girl to find her awake and says his name, partially reminding him of who he is. Kagano finally remembers his name and learns that the mysterious girl is named Ayumi and that she also fell into this world unknowingly. Despite his memory loss, Kagano acknowledges the familiarity and warmth Ayumi makes him feel, causing an instinctive but sudden kiss beneath the shining moon. Unknowingly, Misami had witnessed this and becomes jealous, resulting in a distant and cold attitude towards him. After impulsively running off into the woods, Misami is hunted down by a werewolf, pinning her into a corner. She is fortunately rescued by Kagano, who bickers with her, causing him to accidentally release demonic aura out of him, resulting in a sudden blackout. Upon waking up, Misami reveals her human form, half human and half animal, which were thought to be extinct after the genocide that occurred many years ago in this world they now inhabit. Arriving at the twin tree, Kagano suddenly notices a dart cloaked figure speaking to him. Behind him, Misami and Ayumi arrive, only to witness Kagano fall unconscious before the dark figure, which they don't see. Unconscious, Kagano is led by the voice of a bodiless person, guiding and offering snippets of memories from his past. Kagano bears witness to the beckoning light of the world tree. He is introduced to the original world of his previous life, Akiria. Everything is peaceful as we are introduced to a younger version of Kaguno and Ayumi, along with Lily, a good friend of theirs, and Kasaku, Kaguno's beloved younger brother. Their people go on to celebrate an annual festival, unknowing of the uncertain fate that is in store for them. Kaguno, Ayumi, and Lily, and fourth the one intruder, was entered the World Tree's garden. They quickly rush to the sacred garden, finding Hosaku, having absorbed the power of the world tree, a godly divine being that mends balance of the world. This forces Kagano to stab Kosaku, causing the world to flash white, ending Kagano's flashback. The whispers of the voice in his head, to which Kagano names Kazuki, starts to fade as he regains consciousness. As he wakes, he is greeted by the remaining members of the group who had found each other underneath the twin trees. With the group explaining their reunification, Ariana reveals herself to the group, and explains that Ayumi and Kagano, once friends in the past life, were sent to this world due to Kosaku absorbing and dispersing the powers of the world tree. The lost Ikerians were bestowed with amulets, learning that there are five amulets in the world they must retrieve if they ever wish to go home. 
As the stars rise, Yumi visits the shrine to think. When she is visited by Kaguna, Kaguna attempts to talk to Ayumi and salvage the feelings they once shared, but Ayumi refuses to account for the feelings and becomes distant. Despite the newfound information, the group agrees to journey back to Trone and make a plan for the search of the remaining amulets. Whilst in Trone, Kaguna continues to be tormented by disembodied voices that try to convince him of a monstrous side. Eventually, Kaguno's demonic aura grows unstable, only kept back by Yumi's presence, who tries to distract him through dinner. Whilst enjoying the meal, Kaguno notices a cloaked figure that Ayumi cannot see. In a panicked haze, he chases after the figure to the front of the village, distantly tailed by Ayumi. With Ayumi's voice becoming distant and hazed, Kaguno is transported to his soul state, where he is confronted by the dark figure. During the fight, Ayumi is taken hostage by the figure before Kosaku is brought into the mix. With Ayumi as his guiding light, he breaks out of the spell, promising Ayumi that he will not rest until she is safely brought back home to Ikeria. With time progressing quickly, news of Ikerians is spread throughout the land. Masami becomes Kagano's teacher, trying to guide him on how to harness and control his demonic energy. Within his training, Pyro, Lily's dog, interrupts the session dragging along Draken and one of his henchmen. Threatening Kagano to hand over the dog, Draken attacks Masami and Kagano. With the battle nearly lost, Masami and Kagano are saved by Masami's sister, Scarlet, despite the reunion being far from happy. After throwing Draken into jail, Scarlet finally introduces herself to Kagano and Ayumi. Kaguna learns that Lily also came into this world with them, and that she could possibly possess one of the five amulets. The group of heroes prepare themselves for the long journey to find Lily in a village called Warren Cross. As the past has Kaguna's mind racing, he goes to the shrine to think before being greeted by Yumi. Ayumi and Kaguna discuss the happenings of this world, and the little of the world they remember from before. With the group on their way to Warren Cross, Scarlet attempts to reconcile with Misami, but with her anger at her peak, Misami angrily shouts at Scarlet before running off. Kagano rushes to Misami to comfort her, and learns about the relationship she has with her sister. He learns of their dark past that forced Scarlet to distance herself in order to keep her little sister safe. Kagano empathizes with Misami, and convinces her to confront Scarlet about their problems. Suddenly, Misami is attacked by soulless beings. This alarms everyone, and just in the nick of time, they manage to save her. Both sisters finally make up for their misunderstandings that drove them apart. As the group regains their moment, unknowingly, our heroes are constantly being watched by an overwhelming evil. As the group arrive at Warren Cross, they are introduced to the Lord's son, Salem, who explains the trial to which Lily is being persecuted. With Lily being sentenced to exile, the group rescue and free her, using the tunnels under the town after to escape. Lily explains to the group that her amulet was taken and is in possession of someone else at the village. As they sneak back into the village in search of Lily's amulet, they realize the other group members have been captured by Salem's guards. With his rage blinding his judgment, Salem unlocks the demonic energy of the amulet using his being with the power held within. With this newfound power spiraling out of control, Salem attacks his guards, the group and his own father. With Kaguna frozen by the power that is so similar to his own and the bodies of his injured friends, he, he is visited again by Kazaki. Kazaki convinces Kaguna to unlock his own demonic potential losing himself and his ability to control his form within his rage. With the fight between Higuno and Salem raging, Ayumi awakens and witnesses Higuno attempting to kill Salem, who is no match for Higuno's new power. As Higuno is about to kill Salem, Ayumi manages to break Higuno out of his rage and brings him back to himself. Where am I, Ryumi? With the power from both amulets depleted, Sim looks in horror at his father, and his actions have killed his father, who slowly dies in his arms.
After the disastrous Battle of Warren Cross, Kagano and his team returns to Trone with Lily to meet with Oriana. As they arrive back at Trone, our heroes are informed of Draken's escape. Franz, enraged by this, hunts down his brother. Kagano, along with Masami, Magnus and Scarlet all follow Franz in concern for his impulsive behaviour. Franz manages to track down Draken and challenges him to a duel. The two brothers fight head on, unleashing their curse marks, a power similar to the demonic energy of the Divine World Tree. The battle is fought hard, but despite Franz's ambition to win, he is bested by Draken, who leaves Franz unconscious beneath him, with his final words to his brother being, Don't expect me to let you live next time. He flees into the forests and disappears. After the unfortunate battle, the team finally gets the time to rest. They discuss the possible whereabouts of the final amulets. In agreement, they decide to head to the capital of the land to find out any leads on the location of the last amulets. As the others plan their next mission, Ayumi and Lily take their time to reconnect. They reveal to themselves that both their memories are intact from the past and decide to keep it a secret from Kagado. As our heroes press forward with their plans, the shadows continue to elude the new world of Ikeria. Kagano soon discovers the hidden information that Ayumi and Lily are hiding from him. While pressuring them for answers, the discussion is interrupted by a distant scream. Now more vigilant of their environment, they rush forth to find Imperial guards attacking a boy and his mother and wreaking havoc among the other villagers. After saving them, they rush into the village and take out the guards to try and secure safety for the remaining people. With the majority of their forces beaten, the remaining guards flee into the forest. Ayumi, Lily and Masami closely follow the guards while the remaining members help the villagers clean up. The villagers warn Kagano of a sinister power lurking within the world that grows stronger every single day, one far more powerful than the Imperials. With this knowledge weighing down on him, the girls have discovered the Imperial camp, where they are quickly found and captured by the Imperial commander, Axius. The girls are taken to the camp as prisoners. Kagano becomes doubtful as he fears the influence of his unknown power and past have on him, his friends and the world. Pyro brings him back to reality, however, as he eludes Kagano to the capture of the girls and leads him to the camp. Franz, Magnus and Kagano find their way to the Imperial military camp. They formulate a plan to save Oyumi, Misami and Lily, using explosives to distract the soldiers. As the plan commences, Kagano manages to free Misami. She directs Kagano towards the commander's tent to possibly find Oyumi and Lily, as he encounters Axius, commander of the Imperials. He unravels to him a demonic form similar to his own. They both engage in combat, forcing Kagano to change into his half-demonic state. Meanwhile, Franz, Magnus and Masami clear out the soldiers out of the camp and regroup back with Kagano, finding him in his new state. Franz, deciding to aid Kagano, unleashes his curse mark, ordering the ghost to find Ayumi and Lily while he holds off the commander. As the battle continues, Misami and Magnus quickly find Ayumi and Lily. They return back to the battlefield and find Kagano unconscious, and Franz spiraling out of control with his curse mark, nearly killing Axius. Magnus swiftly attempts to stop Franz, allowing Axius to escape. Franz, losing control of his powers, goes on a rampage with the intent to kill anyone in his way. Misami, Magnus, Lily and Ayumi band together to stop Franz as Curse Mark from taking over him. Unfortunately, their strength is outmatched by the cruel demonic curse overwhelming Franz. Ayumi, in an attempt to protect everyone she cares about, reveals herself with Lily to summon weapons of purity. With the power of these ethereal weapons, they manage to incapacitate the cursed Franz, restoring him back to his former self. Kagino, finally awakening to the aftermath of the battle, looks around. With the camp burning around him, he sees a Yumi and Lily one last time before Kazuki visits him once more. As Kagino enters a state of frozen horror, he traps him and fills his mind with the perception of monstrosity. Thank you.
Good morning, Kagano. Would you care for some breakfast, my dear? Yeah. To be continued.